Hello everyone, this is NinjaGuy underscore 12 here, and as you can see, I finally got the Regal Goog. <laughs> I I was just fucking around uh, my other account, just dropping single spins on that uh, level 3 Regal Goog and uh, Gallus J Lottery. Uh, well, by the time you see this video, it's not longer available, but I was just trying that every day on this alternate account because I really don't care about doing a 10 spin or anything. And I just kept getting recycles, and then literally the day before, you know, um, the new suit or whatever gets added. Uh, I don't know what it is at this point in time, but before, you know, that, before Thursday, I guess, uh, Thursday morning, I guess, I finally got it. <laughs> and I'm just so happy to finally have this thing, because I've always wanted to do this thing ever since it got added, and I'm a bit sad I wasn't on my main account, but whatever, and you somehow fucking countered me. That never fucking works for me. Dirty cheater. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, if you guys want to know the colors that I've used, so that you guys can use it yourself, you can ask me what they are in the comment section down below, or on my Discord server. I just took the colors from the Uma Lightning Gelgoog. I just took off the specular, the highlight, and the weathering. And so it looks quite nice, honestly. I like uh, the kind of colors, anyway. But if you guys don't own the Uma Lightning Gelgoog and you want those colors, just let me know. And if you guys want to make any uh, GBT request videos this month, you could also leave that on my Discord server. You don't even need to be subscribed, you just need to join my Discord server, and then make your two free requests every month. <laughs> but anyway, so the Regal Gook is a 500 point general at level 1, it goes to level 3 at 600, as you can tell, and I fucking am so happy to have this. Um, unfortunately, this wasn't the best match I could get with it, um, due to the fact that I titled this Pretend This Didn't Happen, because... A lot of weird shit happens, <laughs> from teammates just taking my kills for no reason to what you saw earlier, that Dovin Wolf somehow pairing my ass, despite the fact that he was clearly behind me, but whatever. And also just the enemy team unfortunately having really dumb teammates, so a lot of the stereotypical GBO things happening, I guess, but still it was quite weird and annoying. But anyways, the Regal Goog is still a really good general, honestly. Even at this cost, it still does quite well. Uh, so I'm just really stoked to have this. So I'm going to definitely start using this a lot more when I'm in 600 rooms, rather than trying to bring a level 1 Mark II into a 600 point room on my other account. So that would be nice. But anyways, let's talk about what this thing has. So... The Regal Gook has this fucking amazing looking beam rifle. It's gorgeous. It has five shots. It's an E-Pack type of beam rifle. And it has a grenade launcher. But if you feel like you don't want to use that and want to just stick to basically all ballistic weapons, you could equip the high mobility Gel Gook rocket launcher that, of course, the high mobility type Gel Gook uh, uses, but also the Gel Gook cannon and the uh, normal 350 cost Gelgoog, so quite a few suits use that uh, rocket launcher. I'm not the biggest fan of it, so I'm, I think I'm going to stick with the beam rifle, but uh, I don't know. I might give it a chance. It does, uh, technically, if we're talking about Unicorn, it also does use the kind of, what is it, the Resin Schneider, like, beam machine gun kind of thing, or like a weapon that almost looks like that weapon. So, if we ever get a different uh, version of the suit, like the Unicorn version, or just add a decoration to where it has leaf markings and uh, give it that beam uh, machine gun. That will be another kind of cool thing for this thing to have. Of course, it has this fucking cool-ass double-bladed beam saber. It's actually 
two beam saber, but they connect together into one long beam saber. Uh, I think, yeah, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this was the first mobile suit to actually ever do that, because in my, I, I, I might be wrong, but I think there's, the only other ones that really come to mind, I guess, is like, obviously, like, the Gym Striker Kai, the Striker Custom, the Legend Gundam, and the, uh, Freedom and all that from Seed, so... Yeah, I think the Regelgu was like one of the first mobile suits ever to have a weapon, or a melee weapon that could combine into a one long-ass weapon. I love it. Uh, it also has a arm grenade launcher. Uh, technically it has two of those, one on each arm, but unfortunately you only shoot one of them, which is kind of dumb. But whatever. Um... Like, the kind of sound it makes is similar to the kind of heavy stagger round that the, uh, what was it? The Desert Gelgook has, so if you ever used that, it has that same kind of sound, but it doesn't heavy stagger like you would normally think it would. But it still does decent damage, actually. It does surprising amounts of damage. Uh, you also have the missiles on the backpack. I wish it shot a little bit more, but they still do great. I don't really like how they kind of, like, take a second to actually fire, you know? But, I can't really complain, it's still great. And then you'll finally have the, uh, grenade launcher on the beam rifle, if you are using the beam rifle, but if you're using the high mobility type Gelgoog's rocket launcher, uh, you won't have access to the grenade launcher. That does some pretty decent damage. Uh, but, talking about some other things, this thing, I think, has maneuver armor, it has two dodge rolls, which is Fucking uh, fantastic. The only other Gelgu that comes off the top of my mind that has double dodge roll is the just normal high mobility type Gelgoogs, uh, you know, the just not really the one actually named after an ace pilot or anything. Uh, that's the only other one that comes to mind, but still, it's f great. And I guess we could talk about the one thing I wanted to talk about, the design. I love this thing. It is amazing. I love everything about this design. It is fantastic. I really want to hopefully get the P-Bandai high-grade Regelgook. Probably the Unicorn version, because that's the one that's going to come with almost the most amount of weapons. But I've also considered getting the, what was it, somewhat recently released uh, Gelgook Vortex. That comes with like four guns, like... That'd be pretty dope, but it's slightly different, and the fact that it has the Regelgook shoulders are just, like, giant boosters. I'm not really too into the Gelgook Vortex, but I don't know. I w might consider getting that eventually, but definitely one day gonna get the Regelgook. Uh, rather it, whether it's the um, Double Zeta version or the Unicorn version, I'm definitely going to get it, because one of my all-time favorite Gelgoogs, like, ever. I love the dumb shoulders. <laughs> And the whole backpack and everything just makes this thing look so sexy. <clears throat> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and commentary. And I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you all later.